Developing creative, interactive visualizations is a very important part of the Momodak project. In this webcast, I'd like to take you through how you can use the Momodak JMOL interface we've developed to build your own visualizations and embed them on your wiki page. A good place to start when you're thinking about visualizations is on the Frequently Asked Questions page of the Momodak wiki, which has various tabs associated with different aspects of the project. If you click on the Using JMOL tab, you'll notice a link to the JMOL interface, and when you click on this link, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. After you see the ready image appear, you're able to manipulate things in the JMOL window. And the first step of using this page is to load a file from some location. So after research, you've probably come up with either figures from literature articles or PDB entries or other figures associated with your topic that you can translate into JMOL using this interface. If you have a PDB entry in mind, click Load PDB Entry and type in the PDB code to instantly load the JMOL of that PDB entry. If you want to build a small molecule for yourself, you can use the Build Molecule option and build a molecule similar to the way you would in Marvin Sketch or in Ace Organic. By clicking Load into JMOL, that will clear out the window and load in your molecule in an optimized form with implied hydrogens added. I won't say too much about how to use this interface to manipulate the JMOL model because you'll learn more about that later and that's in the FAQ pages. But for now, let's learn how to take this image and embed it on your wiki page. Embedding a JMOL on the wiki essentially involves two steps. The first is saving and attaching what's called a state file to your wiki page. The state file contains all the information about what's in the JMOL window. The structure, any colors, labels, or anything else you've added to the JMOL window. When you load this state file somewhere else, the exact view that you saw in the interface when you save the state file will present itself in the JMOL window on the wiki. To save a state file, just click Save State File in the right-hand sidebar. Give the file a descriptive name that will clue you into what's actually in the model that's going to load when you load that state file. With the state file saved to a convenient location on your computer, the next step is to attach it to your wiki page and then embed it on your page using the JMOL macro. To attach to your page, visit the Edit Attachments menu. You can use this for images and Marvin Sketch MRVs as well. Attach the file by navigating to it and then clicking Attach Files. With the file attached, visit Edit, Edit This Page. And now let's type a JMOL macro where we'd like that JMOL window to appear. So we start with an open curly brace, type JMOL and a colon, and then specify two parameters after this colon. SRC is the state file that we want to load. It's that state file that we just attached, benzene.txt. Size is the second parameter and tells JMOL how big to make the window. We separate parameters with a vertical bar and specify values using an equal sign. With these two parameters specified, we can close off the macro with a closed curly brace. We can then click Save, and now we should see the JMOL appear on our wiki page. And there it is. When you first load structures into the JMOL interface, you should keep in mind that the structures should all come from the internet, none from your local hard drive. This means that whenever you click Load Structural File, for instance, this should always be a URL from either your wiki page or the PDB. PDB entry can just be a PDB code, but state file, similarly, needs to be a URL from the wiki. And you can access URLs like that by attaching to your wiki page, going to Edit Attachments, right-clicking, and selecting Copy Link. Keep this in mind as you're building JMOLs. You can't upload files from your local hard drive into JMOL, otherwise the JMOLs won't work when you try to embed them on your wiki. Ultimately, at this point, you should start thinking creatively about how you can use JMOL and the fact that it represents molecules in three dimensions with a high degree of interactivity to represent your molecule's mechanism in a creative way. You should think about using curved arrows in three dimensions or drawing molecular orbitals. 
And you should really think about this in terms of what's relevant to your project itself. Don't just do something because another group's done it or because it seems cool. Really think about what's relevant to your molecule in the context of the organic chemistry we've learned. This will lead to the best Momodak project possible. We'll learn more in future lessons about how to use the JMOL interface to accomplish some of the goals you might have thought about. But for now, really think in the abstract about what you'd like to do using JMOL and play around with some very simple structures or PDB entries and try embedding them on your wiki page.